These are so hard to get loose. Okay, is this the one I still haven't gotten? Nice. <clears throat> Got it, there we go. Sweet. All right, let's set it down carefully here. Get our stuff out of the way. Alright, those screws are hard to get up out of there. There we go. Gotta have little itty bitty fingernails. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it was really snug in there, and it suddenly popped loose. So, like they're saying, you gotta you fold it up. It's not like it's that flimsy. It's just there's that right there. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. See this right there. So we just set this down, like they're saying, and then. Uh, All right, I'm putting my aluminum hard drive. Okay, I'll push it on there carefully, I guess. Um, see if I, I don't want to break anything. There it goes. Ah, uh, yeah. Wow, it's pretty firm. It just slots right on there. Man, you gotta get your thumb on the other side and carefully apply more pressure till poof pops into place. That's terrifying. Okay. Hopefully with that there. Um, let's see, I guess I have to put the uh, strut over it. But anyways, um, yeah, I think then we can install the um, operating system to this. And then we can use this slot here, the M.2, for our Graphics card input. It should work. Yeah, get that screw out of there. All right, there we go. Yeah. I think that's magnetic. That helps. Yep. And then I'll pull out this little. Kind of got to wiggle a little bit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, give it the wiggle jiggle. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. It's magnetic. The RAM is. Oh. It sucked over to the side there. How oh, strange. <laughs> it's magnetic. The RAM is. Um, okay, so then, uh, yeah, you gotta open up your bag there. Yeah. Is it sealed? Oh no, it's gotta open it. Okay. So now, um, you gotta plug this into the RAM slot. Yep. Okay, I have to unplug this first. That's a pain. Yeah. Unplug this first. That'd make it easier. Pull the other way out of there. Now you're going to install this little white shell. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's farther up. It's higher floating oh, up right. there. Because it goes above the other M.2 port that has a little card on there for the wireless. And then you got to... Push it in. Yeah, there you go. Always okay. snaps like that, and then you gotta it bounces. Then you gotta screw it down. Okay. Collecting screw. Oh shit. Collecting screw. Yeah, it's not a very strong magnet on that. Oh, fuck. They're really cheap oh, screwdrivers. Collecting screw. I'm just trying to get it in my fingers. Yeah. If you have porcine hands, burn in hell. Yeah, you ain't gonna do this. Well, it would probably be because if you get it set up, then you'll burn alive because the amount of caloric oh my God. increasal from trying to video edit. Yeah, right. Or or anything, even video game. This at hurts my spine. Actual 2010 graphics <laughs> levels. Oh, 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 God. Just they still. Just, you gotta just get it in there. Okay. But then it falls off of the screwdriver end as if it's only magnetic on the sides, not the tip. So I gotta, I gotta, there, there we go. And then, ah, uh, there we go. 
Yeah, wiggle it on there. Goddamn. Yep. Good job. Okay. So then, yeah, we plug this. My spine, dude. It's like these angles. Oh my. And then it's the wrong way, isn't it? Oh my fucking. Oh, this hurts. Okay. Okay. All right. And then we take. Yeah, this. then it'll plug into there. Yeah. Fabulous. Okay. Yes, yes. We're getting there. All and right. Then... I don't know. I don't think we'll be able to close the case back up because they don't provide a hole here for this cord to come no, out. No, they expect it to be a flat wire, and it's not. It's not. It's not flat. It's a thick cord on this one. So I don't know. Uh, you know, the side plastic case, you know, you'd have to, like, make a bigger hole here, but then how would you get it? I'd have to cut a whole bevel piece out of there to insert out that way. Bad design. Ah, it's not going to work. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see, this itself is the world's most powerful supercomputer that's microtized. It's got four dedicated threads for each four of K. And each pipeline is dedicated to each pixel. Every pixel has its own pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> it's deadly. And it's got a liquid ruby inside. Oh, Jesus. Anyways, yeah. Um. Well, no, you gotta... We're gonna have to set up some sort of system here. Um, we're not just gonna haphazardly... I'm gonna have to... Well, you're supposed to plug this. Yeah, that goes there. But we're gonna have to, like, get it aligned on, like, some... We're gonna have to get it aligned over here, the computer and everything. I'm gonna have to do it right. Yeah, this is all you do. <laughs> well, then, yeah, then you get a power supply, and you plug it into the, uh... Into these ports here. Into those ports. So check it out. It takes four eight ports. I mean, not not four, two eight ports. Sorry, if it was four, that well, they never actually designed yet the Fury X two, which <laughs> will have four. But that's theoretical. It probably just still have two because of uh, die shrinkage. So, anyways, yeah, there you go. And then yeah, you got to plug in. You got to power this two separately there with the, with the power <laughs> supply. Which I have one that should work. Uh, they're pretty cheap anyways. You can get a 600 watt whatever metal power supply usually for like 20 to 50 bucks. So Cool. Alright, let's get this set up and we'll turn the camera back on. Alright, so I've got it plugged in here. Um, I got those both plugged in there, and then the trailing one to the power here. Um, I don't know that I need something plugged in there or not. That's, maybe that's for like a power to a fan going out, because I don't know why it need to go in. Yeah. Doesn't make sense, because we have that. Then over here... For the USB over into that, we have another SATA port. Maybe the SATA here powers the USB port, I'm thinking? Maybe. We'll have Maybe. to see. Maybe. I'm thinking so. I don't know why there's no instructions, but um, I guess I can plug things into all of them. I don't want to blow anything out. I yeah. Mean, I guess we can try it just with... um. I think I do need something there, though, so I'll plug one of those in. So we got this one's so high powered. It only has one HDMI port and three display ports. It's meant to be future proof because nobody's gonna be using HDMI for high end rendering eventually. Was the concept? I don't know if that's true or not. Let's see here. I think if we turn this on, it should power everything on through, including this, and that's plugged into the screen. So. Turn this on, and then we'll push power. Oh, I don't have this plugged in. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
you know how when you're exercising super hard and at the end of the day, you know, you don't really have a girlfriend. You just have some chick that's like your bone buddy that you met at the gym and she only does cardio. So she's some sort of cardio bunny, but like bouncy bitch. And so then you're like, oh man, I need to bleed off some of this power into somebody who's deserving. Well, it's kind of like that with this newest, uh, you know, Intel slash uh, AMD computer GPU CPU d design I came up with. We make it even less powerful, but you have designed it with an even larger open asshole, basically, to stick big cables into. So then what you have is like, because lots of people have old graphics cards because they've upgraded at some point. I mean, they've grown over their lifetime. They've gotten a new graphics card. So their old one that's, you know, like the equivalency of a 12-year-old who can't bang good enough, they just take some of the energy ambiently through their sexual aura over to that as a transistor, you know what I mean? So that, like, the, they don't explode. So what you're saying is people should get spicy in the bedroom <laughs> by introducing 12-year-olds. I never said that. <laughs> oh, okay. What I said was you invest your energy metaphysically yeah. as if you're saying you have hopes and dreams for your children through your sexuality in the hopes that they succeed like you know when you high five your kid when they bang yeah so that type of concept is what we're doing here the high five is what i would call it yeah. is being passed to the smaller drive every time you know dad bangs the motherboard yeah. and they high five as he walks out of the room you see what i'm saying yeah that's the some of the additional data going over to the the uh the the assist card that just is there so the big card doesn't blow up so it's stable enough to be weaker yeah you see what i mean like how families are actually supposed to work yeah you're supposed to be stable and weak not just degeneratively weak yeah if you're going to be weak at all. And that should usually be because you're young and haven't yet, you know, gotten any hormones flowing. So the concept here is like a human existence, because I'm just, I don't know why I feel like you guys will want to do this because I'm making crude, disgusting references every five seconds to computing, even though I'm just doing it to try to appeal to your disgusting asses. Okay, so like... The point here is, let's say a task is done. Well, it sends a bunch of data and it says uh, some of this data isn't confirmed. So it says sending it to the other card because it could cause a crash in the larger card. And that smaller card, because it's, it, it, all it does is take that data, then just processes it instantly because there's good old cards that do that. And sends it back so quick that it's already going over to the other card. Because you designed the computer for this. So then it's like saying, no, it's just transisting. It's just resisting. It's just pulling some of the, the bad ions out. You know? Yeah, yeah. So if you want to go maximum crew to finish what you're saying, sometime dads go gay on their son's butt while their son fucks their wife in the pussy. Wow, I mean, I really wish I didn't have to use this analogy, but I'm just being told by my own brain, because it's, you know, how degenerative you faggots are, that somehow me saying this makes these computers come out. As if I'm telling you directly and it makes no difference. That me saying this makes you want to make these computers <laughs> so I can use some of my old thrift store graphics cards. Yeah. Listen, cocksuckers, I was trying to, you know, test the power supply, but I had to put the whole fucking PC together. You have no any idea how annoying that is? There should be some sort of, you know, booster pack, something you plug it into so that you can turn it on and just use a few of the cords and just test it. Well, you're, you're sound, making it sound boring because you're not telling the story. Plus, you're kind of loud. So let me come in here as a smooth criminal. Watch out. And let me tell you. See, I'm trying to build a Frankenstein computer in my basement, and um, I've got issues because, like, in order to get a power supply unit to provide additional power to get my graphics card unit working with my extra small mini PC, I have an adapter, but I need a power supply unit that... um can turn on and provide energy to that adapter and such and so on and the power for the uh, massive Fury X 
So it's a 600 watt power supply unit. So in order, I'm guessing, to power that on, you I'd have to plug it into a motherboard, then turn that motherboard on by having a CPU in it and a RAM stick, and then booting it into DOS, or not DOS, well maybe, I'm not going to do that though. Booting it just into BIOS and letting it hang out there where it's pretty stable, and then that can be on, then I can cycle a bunch of power out of the power supply and steal it over to use on my other setup. And I don't see any problem with that. It shouldn't blow out the motherboard or anything because it'll just monitor. It's built to send energy. Yeah, it's built to send energy and it's just providing the small loop and then the rest of the energy is bypassing it. It should function. An engineer could prove me wrong, but I'm going to try it. It's safe at least. Nothing. It'll either not work or work. It won't blow anything up. So whatever. I guess I do know something. Wow, look, he's such a geek. He has an M.2 computer as his license plate. Wow. Just saying. Wow. Everybody does, though.